Good morning. Today I thought I'd do a little tour of my lanai, also known as a screened-in back porch. Uh, we got all the material for the screen and the framing, and we got it all installed. And it's made a total difference. It's like a whole new room in the house. And this guy loves to be out here too. The lanai is now called a bunai because of this guy. He comes out here every day. Yes, and he cleans his face because he's so handsome. And he just chills. Sometimes he hangs out, sometimes he's ready to go back in if it's a little too warm. And sometimes he stays out here sprawled out and takes a nap for two hours. Rough life, right Crumbs? Dave installed a wonderful fan so we can get some airflow. Um, I bought some light Edison bulb lights that we hung that go around the whole perimeter. I won't spin too much so you guys don't spew. And now I've got my plants all set up in here. This is a little a planter stand that my mom gave me that is planted with ground cover plants from her yard that I brought home here with me so that even though I'm 800 miles away, she can kind of be with me here. I definitely got all my planting love from my mom. And, and from her father, my grand, my grandpa, he's a major gardener, and so I'm so grateful that it got passed down to me because I love it. So here I've got all my plants being soaked in the morning sunlight. Our yard faces southeast, so all these plants get some really nice direct morning sunlight, but then as the day gets later and the sun gets stronger, they're only in indirect light. It's still super bright, but they're not getting s scalded or burnt by that super strong North Carolina sunlight. A lot of people have asked me how I keep all my plants alive, and um, I mean the first answer is I haven't kept 100% of every plant I've owned alive. Of course, I've accidentally killed some plants, but my success rate is good enough to where I <laughs> I allow myself to keep buying plants or just keep propagating and making new plants because I'm kind of got the hang of it at this point with certain ones. Um, my biggest thing with these ones, I think that's kept them alive the most, is the fact that they only get that direct sunlight in the early morning so that they don't burn too much. And I also am I'm really habitual about spritzing them. I come out here with a big bottle and spray mist them every day in the morning when I can think of it. Some days they don't need it, like this morning, because a storm came through last night and a lot of them got um, got sprayed, so they kind of already have a drink and some humidity sprayed on them. Some people think misting doesn't do anything, and maybe it doesn't for them, but for me, I think it makes a difference. Plus, I just love doing it. It's just part of tending to the plants that makes it such a fun passion or hobby, whatever you want to call it. And Here's my big fern. I think that's been a huge thing that's let me keep this fern alive because I have not had success with ferns, but that's what I've been doing with this one. It gets a minimal amount of direct sunlight and only gentle morning sunlight. And the rest of the day it just has bright indirect light and I keep I keep it misted both both directly on top like this and I kind of come up from underneath so that it gets a thorough humidity sesh. So yeah, it's lovely. I love it. I'm out here every morning with my coffee. Got a little crystal up there that reflects rainbows and and, su and sunlight through the prism and looks looks lovely. Got some some glass here that I found. I just I love 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 cobalt blue, and this is no exception. I saw this and said, oh yes, she will be mine. Here we have my f table that my mom put this together in the 70s and my dad and uncle, I believe, built the framework on it. And so not only do I love what it looks like because it's so old school, but the fact that it has that sentiment is something that I love about this table. And I just love this cobalt blue. And something else I just started is a little propagation station for my pothos plant. And I'm utilizing a spice rack that Dave built. These little cylinders are supposed to be filled with various spices, but you can fill it with whatever you want, obviously. So 
here we have day one of a little propagation station and it's perfect love how it looks and I like that it's clear so I can see when all the little roots are going to start shooting down. So I just wanted to share my morning cup with you. I hope you enjoy planting as much as I do. It's something that is a stress relief. It brings me joy. It calms me down. It's very therapeutic. And seeing the plants grow and thrive and stay alive is something I love. So I'm enjoying sharing it with you. If you have any questions about any specific plants, let me know. And I will give you an answer about how I care for them. Until then, happy planting, be good, and take some naps. Right? Yeah. Say bye-bye. Thanks for sharing your time with me today. Be sure to like, subscribe, and most importantly, take care of each other. Thank you.